Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Shivam here with us who has been recently placed at JP Morgan Chase as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. So as we all know, JP Morgan is uh, an investment bank in the United States of America. And now let's go ahead and talk to Shivam. Hi Shivam, firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Uh, hi Saurav. Sure. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, my full name is Shivam Batra and currently I am in VIT Chennai, uh, pursuing computer science. Uh, I am in fourth year right now. And uh, I am done with my placements and stuff. And I am placed at JP Morgan Chase at uh, SEP. So, yeah. Okay. That's great. Uh, thanks for introducing yourself. You cannot tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay. Uh, yeah. After that, yeah. You can... uh, and for the second round, uh, there was a higher view interview round, in which there were mostly HR based questions okay. like, uh, "What will you do if uh, a teammate in your uh, hmm. in your team is facing an issue, right. problem, or something? Like that. Right. What will you do to address a particular issue or something?" Okay. So there were mostly uh, HR based questions, hmm. and uh, there were three questions. Hmm. We were given a time of one minute, hmm. uh, one minute for uh, preparation and okay. one minute for the recording. Okay. And the good thing was that uh, we can retake uh, each question one time. Hmm. So yeah, uh, this was the second round. Okay. And actually, <clears throat> I don't think that uh, anyone was spared for this round. Okay. Uh, everyone was given an entry for this round. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so after that, uh, they they uh, selected. Around 150 people from VIT campus. Okay. Uh, from all four campuses of VIT. Hmm. And uh, they were selected for Code for Good Hackathon. Okay. So, Code for Good Hackathon is something like uh, there will be, uh, like from all over India, they will hmm. take all the students hmm. and uh, then they will form random teams. Okay. Uh, like this time it was like 8 to 12 members. Hmm. And uh, on each team, uh, there will be two mentors hmm. just judging you on your skills. Okay. So yeah, uh, like few days before the hackathon, there will be some trainings on Git and uh, GitHub. Like how will you push your right. hmm. so, And the day before hackathon, we were given a chance to give our introductions to our mentors. Okay. So what I have seen is like uh, there can be two or three mentors. Hmm. If a team has two member, uh, two mentors, then one of them will be a senior developer, and okay. other them. And other one would be a uh, VP. Okay. And uh, if there is a, like, uh, and other option is that there will be three vendors hmm. and all three are senior developers. Okay. So when the hackathon starts, uh, it starts with the problem statements given by NGOs. Hmm. And uh, we can actually, we have to give a preference like uh, which NGO we need to choose right. And right. according to the problem statements. Hmm. So, so luckily we were given our second choice hmm. uh, and then we have to solve the problems hmm. and uh, so and then there will be a session like uh, where you can ask what actually NGO needs so hmm. there will be a meeting hmm. there you can ask your NGO so you can uh, take an advantage actually because right. their problem statement will be a very standard problem hmm. but to ask them personally like what exactly do you need right. and then you can just note out those mm, points and mm. solve the problem. So yeah, and uh, during the 24 hours there will be interview rounds, several interview rounds actually. Okay. Like uh, I think after every two hours or something they oh, contact okay. you. Okay. Okay. Like in interviews they can ask you anything related to hackathon or your computer basics mm. or your care for children or things. Okay. So okay. my mentors didn't ask anything related to uh, computer fundamentals hmm. or data structures. Hmm. Just starts about like hackathon, like what you need to do and how are you solving this problem, what exactly you are using and stuff. Hmm. So, uh, okay. This was the like code for good. Hmm. And uh, after that, we need to uh, make a presentation, a video presentation of our solution. Okay. Like uh, the problem is that there will be uh, a very strict time frame. Like you can. 
cannot ex- exceed the time. Right, period. right. So um, it will be around uh, seven minutes video. Mm, mm. Uh, seven minutes are there for your uh, presentation. Like if you exceed, then you will be like you won't be considered. Okay. So it's something like that, mm. and uh, then uh, first there will be a technical round, like technical judgment round, mm. and then there will be a final judgment round. Okay. So uh, like what I have seen is that uh, under uh, each NGO there will be ten teams, and out of those ten teams, two will be selected for the final round. Okay. And uh, we were selected for the final round. Mm. Unfortunately, due to some technical glitches, to be honest, mm. uh, we were not able to present our uh, video. Oh, okay. So we came up as a runner-up. So, but the other team was uh, good. Okay. And their solution was also very good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so like the round is over, mm. like the awkward hackathon is over, mm. and then uh, what I have seen is that out of eight members, if you are a finalist team, like uh, first or second, right. then uh, five will be selected for okay. your FT roles, mm. and if you are a normal non-finalist team, then there will be eight out of two are selected. Okay, okay. Two out of eight. Two out of eight. Okay. <coughs> Okay, and then you got the result in your VIT mail, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the Port Forward Hackathon was on fifth uh, and sixth or fourth or fifth. Okay. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but okay. uh, weekend in uh, first weekend of Jan uh, June. Okay. And uh, I got my mail on twentieth July. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, and congrats again. So yeah, uh, have you done any previous internships, or did any internship experience help you in your placement journey? Or yeah, can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, uh, so I was uh, I did actually three internships, hmm. and uh, one of them was a freelance. Okay. So I was uh, a data scientist at uh, data science intern at uh, Max White Technologies. Okay. Which I was working on like. Uh, what do we say? Remaining useful life of a machine, hmm. and uh, I was there for five months around. Okay. So then uh, I was working in Elucidata, and uh, I was mainly held handling a workspaces section of their cloud. They had a separate cloud which was called as Poly. So unfortunately, like due to college reopening and stuff, I was not able to uh, manage between college studies and interns. So hmm. I had the company after. Uh, one point five months. Okay. And uh, as a freelance, I was working as a check it, check expert in mm. which I was mainly answering questions related to computer science. And I think they were important. Like uh, mostly, oops, concepts get. Uh, mm. Okay. So yeah, that was no. And do you have any suggestions for uh, people who want to get into JPMC through hack? I mean, to, through the hackathon or. Anything about uh, so uh, as far as I know, uh, for SCP roles, hmm. they usually take uh, to both of them. Okay. But uh, like they do take for campus hiring, hmm. uh, like the normal process hmm. for quant and research. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so what I think is that for both for good, uh, what I would suggest is hmm. that be a team leader. Okay. And your selection is final, <laughs> like okay. for sure, okay. because you'll be handling tasks. And mm. because uh, what I think is that they do, uh, not only measure your uh, coding skills, mm. they also manage, like uh, also see your managerial skills and uh, how do you cooperate with your team teammates. members. Okay. So I think if you be a team leader, then mm. you will be a uh, you'll be at an advantage. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, that for the code for code it is what I would suggest and for like for normal preparation, uh, first and foremost the CGP are around eight point five is fine actually. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you are nine pointer, then you'll have some extra advantages. Yeah, extra advantages. Also. Okay. And for uh, any MNC or stuff, you need to have some uh, data structures. Right. Uh, like problem solving skills should be. Right. Set. Right. <coughs> okay so okay and one question i have is how important do you think are uh, operating systems and networks 
oops these kind of computer science subjects how important do you think are for placements uh, actually what i think is like as far as jpmc is considered uh, we were not asked any questions related okay. to computer fundamentals okay but uh, i gave exams of other companies also hmm. and uh, companies actually asked these questions okay. also okay like uh, during an interview or during the coding round there will be some mcqs okay so yeah we can prepare actually we need to prepare right okay and i think internships are important because they give you uh, some experience like how to write a quality code right a code that is good for production right okay okay thank you so much and now that you're placed and all your courses are over and everything so what are your plans for the next few months before you start working for jp morgan that's this thing so as of now i'm relaxing and i have some travel plans and uh, i'm also exploring some opportunities in freelance okay okay that's great uh thank you for sharing your experience and thank you for being here and sharing all the suggestions yeah thank you thank you so much sir